Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Assembly Podcast. My name is Dominic, aka Ultra Twenty Four. You know, you already know what the fuck it is. Um, today, <laughs> uh, today, uh, we're gonna be talking about anime, all types of anime. Uh, the only anime we're not talking about is Dragon Ball Z, or just Dragon Ball in general, because if that's the case, that's about to be like another two hours. So we're saving that as a uh, just a separate podcast itself. So. But I got my guest with me today. Uh, I got Crossback. What's up? I got, uh, I got AZ Larlor. Hello, guys. And I got Vlasta, too. You know what I'm saying? It's the one and only, the trans-setter, Mr. Don't Shave Your Toenails. You know Why do we invite him? Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love him, but why did we invite him? <laughs> well, just like, well, some first shit off, to well, first off, uh, before we actually get into the topic, uh, I'll probably ask all three of y'all. Y'all can choose whatever order and whatnot. Uh, how did y'all actually get into like the anime genre in terms of just watching it and, uh, and just just how did y'all get into it? Uh, I'm sorry, Cross. Go ahead. That's actually a fun, good question because I've been watching since you know Pokemon and Digimon when they first came out on TV and stuff. Oh, I didn't yeah. even think they were just anime. I thought they were just regular cartoons. Uh, honestly, same. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh, <laughs> I just yeah, Pokemon yeah. cartoons. <laughs> yeah. If we keep it in a jump, then Pokemon was probably like the first thing everybody. The very watched. first, most likely. Yeah. yeah. I guess in regards first, to. Oh, Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, like, me personally, it was a Toonami, you know what I'm saying? Saturday mm-hmm. nights, some shit jumped off. Uh, they had Bobo Bo playing on there. They had huh? Zatch Bell, the vibes. Oh, you going all the way back to that. Oh, you going oh yeah, that. no, that's the jump. That's the jump. I, I was, yeah. was going to go back to, like, when it was weekly Toonami, and they had Hironi Kenshin on that, like, four, oh, you were talking five, about, five oh, you were yeah. About yeah. Waking up at 5 p.m., you hear that damn ending theme song? Uh, oh, waking up to Inuyasha at 3 a.m. Uh, that should piss me off. Don't remind me. Because <laughs> I used to do that all the time. I'd be waking up, cold sweat. That's, a, that's the thing. A... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even hate Inuyasha. Inuyasha is an okay show. But that theme just has so much weight. It it's did. so good, though. <laughs> it's so good. It, it, it makes the best alarm clock. Right. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like that in like George Lopez. Whenever you just like wake up in a cold sweat, like, <laughs> <"Lora."> <laughs> wake up, crush your eyes on you, George Lopez. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now, what about you, Logger? What, what's going on with you? In terms uh, of I'm you... very recent. Uh, as much as uh, everyone may be a bit surprised by this, but I'm I'm very recent. Oh, really? Ask me. No, because uh, at like I, echoing earlier, it was it was Pokemon when I was a kid. And then, really, the only other thing I watched other than that occasionally was the first season of Attack on Titan back when I was in, like, shit, like, 2014, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, you are recent. Holy God damn. So the first first season of Attack on Titan, and I remember asking myself, like, when's the second season coming out? And I think at the time, there was, like, no announcement for that so i kind of just fell off without really checking anything else out and if anything i actually found it kind of weird i won't lie i don't know why but I yeah just, it just wasn't me it, it just wasn't what i was into really <clears throat> so mm-hmm. then it was 2020 and it was covid year so obviously you know we're all mostly in our houses and whatnot. And so I think it was just one night where we were like, yo, guys, let's watch some anime. I was like, well, I'm not really into it. So, I mean, you guys could, but I'm not. I mean, I'll probably just check it out and just like, you know, just sit here and just do whatever. And they're like, no, 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 no. We, we have a couple of re- recommendations. I was like, all right, all right. What, what are we going to watch? And I hate saying this because it's very embarrassing but the first anime that really got me into the anime genre or like e- everything into it was this anime called domestic girlfriend there it is no i've never it. seen it no, but it doesn't no. sound great i knew no. it i knew this thing is gonna say it <laughs> oh no, yeah so if if you don't know what that show is about just look it up 
Just look it up. I'm not gonna. Oh okay, yeah, these. I see you in the chat. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just let you guys figure out what that show is all about. But we watched the first episode, and I immediately was like, "We have to keep on watching this show. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep on watching this. You gotta make it to crack." Lala, it was. Lala watched the first episode. He said it was that opening. Mm-hmm. It was that opening uh-huh. that got him too. Oh my god, that fucking opening! Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, doesn't, like, oh it doesn't. Oh my god! Like, it. wait it a second. It. It, it does not deserve it. On that. it doesn't deserve that opening. No, it does not deserve it. Uh, yeah, if you just look up the domestic girlfriend OP, it has like so many millions of views on it. It's if anything the best OP of that year, probably, or at least one of the best. And then, yeah, unfortunately, it was that show <laughs> that. You know, did it, but yeah. There you you go, got addicted to crack by taking heroin. How, do, how did that work? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> and ever since strongest... it changed, because I always see Lawler just watch it anime in the uh, server, and I was like, golly. This nigga took the strongest spice ever. I do. Like, Ironically, cool. watching Lawler get into anime and how much he's watched reminds me of how I used to be. No, I tell you, so like, Lawler, like you in the stage of the. Uh, the time dilation, I like to call it. But this nigga can watch 87 bajillion shows in a day. Mm-hmm. Wait, and, just, and just keep on pushing. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's a stage like, everybody bro, has like, been there. Like after Toonami, I had the Fundamation channel. I had the Peach yep. Girl, Moonface, Black Ooh. Cat. <laughs> 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 like all that. And then I took like a good break after like mm-hmm. middle school. And then high school, mm-hmm. I, I was just like, okay, I'll watch something again. And yep. then I found something called Hikaru no Go, and then it was just a downward spiral mm-hmm. from that show on. <laughs> I think I also took a break from like anime in general, like in mi- the middle school times. I was like, fuck it, I ain't watching this. I was still doing like Pokemon and shit, but I was like, I, I ain't doing no anime, whatever. So somebody really got me back on uh, these drugs. It was, uh, it was like, yo, One Piece came with a star. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was, talking about some one piece. <laughs> Somebody was talking about some One Piece, and I was looking at it like, oh, yo, what that character right there? What's going on? What's going on over there? What you watching? I said, that's what he said. That. He said, that's no flamingo. I said, who? I said, that look kind of raw. What's the show called? You saw One Piece. I said, that show with the pirates? But that show was lame. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. Nah. He said, no, nah, they showed some gas. I said, I bet. Wait, that joint that joint says six hundred and twenty five dollars. So I said, "Damn." <laughs> nah, them them shows are commitments. Them shows are marriage. Yeah, I said, I said that's like, I said that's quite a bit. I started episode one and never looked back. <laughs> how many? Yeah. How how far is One Piece? by and like anyway, like how how far? I think, is, I think it just reached a thousand. It's uh, a current, currently it's at oh. one thousand forty six. Is the oh, recent yeah, episode? The recent chapter. Oh, wow, that's, one. Oh, wow. that's actually not far behind. Yeah, that's the recent episode. That's... Recent chapter should be 1072. Okay. They released it this week. Yeah, that's actually okay. not that far from the Tenth of Conan. Okay, never mind. Are the yeah, rumors of it fast. actually? Are the rumors of it actually ending soon? Real? Oh uh, yeah. So this is currently this is the final forty. Yeah, forty six. Thank you. It is a uh, currently in the final saga, like the final like actual. I guess bit of One Piece. So realistically speaking, there's about five to seven years left of it. And I cleared it in three months. Eight, but I cleared that shit in a month. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I have not started, so I cannot say anything about it. I yeah. listen, Doug. If you really want to like get up and catch up, read the manga. If you really want to do that. But if you want to, you know, sit real, down. Real, I mean, realistically, you can also look online because. People have been yeah. just spoiling the story like shit on yeah. One Piece. I'm, I'm, <laughs> like I'm like I'm caught up on the shit, and I'm just I haven't even wa- started watching the full episodes, but I already know what I need to know. So basically, <laughs> I know in terms. I'd of... always oh go ahead. Yeah, I said I'd always recommend reading over uh, watching some shit if you really want to catch up. I know in terms oh of God, me because I haven't actually like said anything about my history with the genre. But in terms of me, like obviously Pokemon, but but that's when I didn't know anime was a thing. Uh, oh yeah, Pokemon. Just, just just like most black people, it was Dragon Ball <laughs> for me. And but You're right. I I didn't uh, actually yes, start. The wa- I didn't start watching. I'm gonna go more into detail whenever we do the actual Dragon Ball podcast. But I didn't get into the anime at first. I played the games. 
specifically Budokai's one, two, and three. <laughs> and I basically got mm-hmm. the story off of that, and I was like, hold on, this is raw. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. I went, ended up watching it, and then later on throughout the years, I didn't really like touch anime. Like I'll see it on TV or like Toonami every now and then, but I didn't know what the hell was going on. Like Inu, Inuasha was one of them. Uh, I forgot. I know chat's about to like ridicule me. Spirit Gun. Who the hell is that? Yusuke. 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 Okay. Yeah. That. That shit. <laughs> yeah. Yusuke. I watched. Then, yeah. Yu Yu Yusuke. Yeah. Yusuke. The blueprint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was one I it's actually sat right down there. and watched. I was like, okay, this this is pretty cool. And then I think whenever I started getting on the internet a lot more, I actually ended up watching a lot more anime in terms of not like not like a lot more, but like I actually started diving into the genre. Like I actually finished Kill the Kill because somebody told me, oh, it's literally just Sonic Adventure two with anime bitches, and I said, it's not the wrong. fuck, <laughs> and it's I was not and wrong. I was like, the fuck, and then I watched it, and I was like. Wow, he, he <laughs> wasn't kidding. <laughs> and like it wasn't, even, it wasn't even like, oh, you you were just hoarding your shit. You're watching. Like, no, I was very curious because I was like, no way, they just made Sonic Adventure two with anime bitches. And I watched it, and I was like, wow, that that was just you. the very most accurate representation of that shit. I ain't gonna hold you. When I heard a kill, I kill. I was hoarding your shit. All right, I'm just gonna, <laughs> we'll put it on the table. I, I have gonna... not watched it. So I can't. Go ahead and watch it. It's actually not bad at all. It's, like, it's actually really one good. of the few that I've fully completed, like that One Punch Man. It's, I need to actually like fully watch season two. But it's, season it's, tri- it. it's Trigger, so it's going to have something to grab you. Oh, yeah. Trigger anytime, always has something to grab you. It's also in space. Crazy. Anytime Trigger does something, it, they end up in space regardless. Nah, bro. Bitch ended up in space and turned fucking super, and I was like, no fucking way am I watching Sonic Adventure 2 right now <laughs> in front of me. Dog, dog, it was the Eclipse Cannon. Liv and Laren was playing in the background. Okay. I was so hot, bro. <laughs> because the song kind of played in my head, and I was like, no way I'm hearing this right now. <laughs> nah, but I sat down, I watched that. I actually watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I believe. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I watched that fully. That was really good. I actually enjoyed that. Uh, yep. one of my favorite ones, and I, I know Cross knows exactly where I'm about to go with this. <laughs> was, it was in my mind. Uh, Cross, I, yeah, Cross <laughs> knows exactly where I'm about to go with this. But Neptune showed me an anime called Aho Girl, and that was probably one of the hardest oh, animes man. I have no, ever watched. <laughs> I, remember, I don't know if I was Neptune did a fucking like stream of that show. And I remember being in college, cracking my ass. Oh, Dog, I think I watched that joke twice. There's one genre of show that will keep you into okay. anime. It's shows like Aho Girl, where it's just stupid. Yeah, there's uh, nothing to it. It's just stupid fun, bro. Aho Girl, this this one where there's a bunch of dudes just uh, just, just like hanging out, and it just, it's so retarded. That's so dated, good. I can't. Dated life of a high school boy. Yes, 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 that was <laughs> yes. That and Nietzsche Jar are fucking top tier. That and Nietzsche Jar are like ridiculous. They're so funny. You should watch them, bro. They're like they're so amazing good. shows to just watch when you just want to brain off and do something in the background. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're great like dub shows too. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the fantastic. best dub show. Fantastic. Though. You do, you should uh, don't say it. Yes, don't say <laughs> it. Oh my god, the best dub show. Obviously, it's Golden Boy. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not I'm talking about. That. I'm not talking about ghost stories. Ghost stories. Okay, that's why I thought category. you were gonna go. I'll just like, please no. <laughs> ghost stories is its own category, but I'm talking about Golden Boy. Possibly <laughs> one of the greatest doves ever touched. Golden Boy also just a wonderful gem. It's always those old shows that that just like they got it right the first time. It can never be replicated. Yeah. Oh, that released in what, like what, the '90s, right? Gold, yes, I think so. Yeah, it released in the '90s, and there's like I think six or seven episodes like, of it. I think it's six episodes. Oh, you shit. can find them all on YouTube. You don't even have to like look anywhere. You just find them on YouTube. They're just there. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure if they like took them down recently. <laughs> there's but... still a lot of shows you can you can still find on YouTube. I think you can still find Air Gear on YouTube too. Speaking oh, of man. YouTube, how did y'all start watching? Like, how did y'all consume some product? You know what I'm saying? Like, illegal websites, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 before it became, I mean, like, no, for me, it was YouTube in, like, in high school when they gave us laptops. Mm-hmm. I would just search it for, like, you know, them anime AMVs. And that's when I found ah, Air, unfortunately. Air Gear Part 1, Episode 1. And I'm just like, huh, yeah. 
What is this? Oh my god, what is this? Why are they rollerblading up ceilings? Why is he about to power <laughs> drive him into the ground? Yep. Okay. Now, Lila, I know you're recent. Do you still peruse the legal websites or have you, uh, you know, have you spread your wings into the virus induced uh, illegal ones? Well, you see, uh, mostly everything is on Crunchyroll nowadays. Yeah, I don't yeah. personally have a subscription. My cousin mm. does, so I just use that. <laughs> I don't. don't. Understandable, understandable. Shout out if, to the if, one guy. If in I this do, <laughs> if there is something, if there is something that you know is not on Crunchyroll somehow, some way, then obviously mm. illegal website I go. So, right, yes. absolutely. They'll be fine. They're missing like what, what five dollars. Yeah, they got it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're all right. They'll be, they'll be all right. <laughs> then, that's five dollars. Yeah, you know what? You're right there. You're right there. Uh <laughs> Yeah, just like cross, just like some AMVs and shit, or like, or recently, like they'll they'll just randomly put clips on the internet. Uh, if I like just randomly go through my uh, recommended, it'll be like, oh, clip from this anime. I'll be like, okay, what the fuck is this? And then the only reason I'm gonna have to talk about this now, <laughs> all the reason that I got into Naruto was because everybody in the group was talking about it one day, and I was like, you know what? I'm not watching anything. I might as well get into it. I might as well try try to watch as much yeah. as I can. And I need to actually I like to you mentioning it. Yeah, because I was like, damn, I, everybody's been talking about it. I might as well see what the fuck going on. And <laughs> I'm I'm only like 33, 34 episodes in. But like the first part was pretty good. Like the fucking Zabuza arc, hard. Absolutely hard. Oh. Fuck <laughs> Absolutely hard ass fucking arc. And then soccer. It, oh my god. No, no, no. I don't want to fucking say it. I don't want to speak. I don't you want to know, You know what? You might as well do it. Oh like, my god. I, sw- might as well go. I swear. I don't understand how. I don't understand how he does it, bro. But the creator of Naruto is misogynistic as shit. I don't get it. <laughs> how do you make every woman useless, bro? How did you do that? That shit makes no sense. And then y'all tell me soccer is the best goddamn woman in that fucking series that shit makes me even more upset because there are so many raw women in that fucking shit that can do something but they just sit there she she she, by the end of the series she is third strongest in the entire universe (sighs) don't tell me that that makes me more upset (laughs) you mean to tell me she's third strongest and she ain't she she, she essentially can Stand her own against the threat. She can't win, but she can stand her own. Oh, brother. <laughs> I swear. The creator of Naruto so if, is misogynistic. So if Naruto and Sasuke aren't there, she's their last line of defense. Oh, brother. <laughs> because that shit just makes me so fucking mad. Because I'm sitting there like, okay, you got this chick doing some crazy shit, but she ain't do no crazy shit. But you're telling me that fucking soccer. Like, I saw her do that one thing where she cut her fucking hair with that kunai, and I was like, okay, maybe she's about to do something. She's standing up for herself. And I was like, oh my gosh, she did something. And she goes back to being fucking useless. <laughs> it makes me so upset. To, to be fair, I feel like there was going to be a turning point for her, but no, no, no. Because anyway. here's, here's the funny thing about the creator of Naruto. He had different plans for Sakura and Sasuke to begin with. Uh-huh. But his editors wanted him to make Sasuke like Vegeta and Naruto like Goku. You know what? Not but he just it. but he but he didn't know what to do with Sakura, so he just left her in the dirt. Uh they treated her like every other Dragon Ball woman. <laughs> Alright, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> but every Bone was still Bone was still useful to this day. Yeah, Bone Bo was useful. Android 18 just recently came, like, got back to being useful. But that's about it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> else Chi- fucking Chi- still strikes fear. Like, god damn it. Um, I know Vlad said his computer died, so, uh, well, uh, while he's coming back. Uh, Lar, Lar, uh, I know you, like, you watch a bunch of, like, uh, Slice of Life anime and shit. Like, what, oh, what, man. What, what, what? Uh, like, tell, tell the people what you've been watching and, like, how, like, you write your recommendations and whatnot. Oh, god. I feel I feel like there this is, is gonna go a just long in way. There's what. Welcome back. I think he's back. Um, 
you want recommendations in regards to like this season specifically or anything recent like any basically anything recent at all like, you know yeah go ahead, and, go ahead and do your go ahead, go ahead and do your life. recent I, oh now you're here and dropped my phone and my laptop exploded yeah no i i told lar lar uh like in terms of like slice of life anime because he watches a lot of it uh what are you talking about what he's been watching recently and like his recommendations and whatnot. Oh, uh, you were cap. Go ahead. Next. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. Everyone should watch that. Everyone yeah, should actually yeah, watch that. Everyone, everyone should. Yeah, actually, should I actually watch. watched that on a whim and I'm actually thoroughly impressed with what I've seen. <laughs> and what, what is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's you... called Laid Back Camp. Laid Back, Laid back Camp. Yeah. Okay, okay. Literally, it's in the title. Just a bunch of girl camping. <laughs> so literally, that's all. But it's very entertaining, though. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, just trying to think of anything. Well, I mean, obvious. Uh, uh, Bochi the Rock is recent. That's that aired this past fall. Uh, yeah, yes, tapping gonna, on that. No, yeah, I'm actually gonna rewatch it again with some other people. Starting tomorrow, actually. Oh, okay. Um, fucking. There's also a uh, Spy Family. There yeah, I hear a lot about that one. Yeah. Yeah, um, um, I see a lot of uh people cosplay as some of the characters too. And I'll just like, oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Licorice Recoil. I don't know if that's slice of life. Though. I don't think that's that slice. one counts. Uh, it, it, it can it can count. Yeah, it can count. It does It can count. Right, right. It can count more than. Your regular shonen, okay, fair. Yeah, like it, it, it has action, but it ha- it, ha- it has like more uh, impactful sentiments yeah. to it than your average shonen. Gotcha. And then in regards to other slice of life, I mean, there's Kaguya-sama. Uh, that kind of slice of life. Yeah, she does it, I mean, I don't know. I, like, I feel like I feel like usually whenever the, it's a slice of life show, uh, comedy is always the next tag next to it. So it's like... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like the kinda, either comedy, even yeah. comedy or romance. Yeah, I was yeah, about to say, like, go. the thing blends between all, like, three of those genres. Yeah. Because you can count a lot of those romances. And then, um, just trying Where to think. I'm just trying to think 2022 right now. Or anything like this, this season. Huh? Well, I think it's too early for this season right now. I mean, there there's only been though. like two episodes in for like most shows, so I don't I don't really know. Other than maybe fucking uh, what's this called? Uh, I mean, well, this is not slice of life at all. But Vinland Saga season two is airing right now. Um, then there's the near anime that's airing right now. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, that is out right now, actually. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I thought didn't know about episode, that. I thought the first episode was pretty good, but apparently people did not like it. So I don't know. Uh, oh, really? I don't really know. Yeah, really? I, I thought uh, a lot of people liked it. Are, are they near fans? If, that if, it, if anything, it was more complaining about the CGI usage, but I thought that was like inevitable. Uh, com- oh, yeah. Common, yeah, a lot oh, of com- you're common anime yeah. viewer, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they still stuck know. in that 2016 Berserk thing, so they gotta. Yeah, I, I feel like the usage of CGI in Near, at least in that first episode, was pretty good. And then I check, like, well, I check Twitter just to see what's going on. And then obviously people are just hating on the fact that they use CGI. I'm like, well, what the fuck <laughs> were you expecting? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, I'm pretty yeah, sure there was a trailer for, for the show that was you CGI. Saw it. Yeah, and then um, let's see. Just trying to think of this season. Uh, there's one yeah, that Tokyo Avengers. <laughs> yeah, Tokyo Avengers season two. Although I really wish someone else picked it up in terms of studio. Oh, um, who picked it? Oh, is this the same one? Yes. Oh, that's a shame. Wait, what studio? The studio that has it? I think Linden Films or something. Oh, uh, yeah, Leiden Films. It's yeah, yeah. weird because that specific studio is like can be can very can miss a lot 
right? And then some yeah. the ones that are good are like really good, like Call of the Night that aired last 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 year. Oh yeah, that, that was, was really that was good. good. And then the, and they animated that. But Tokyo Revengers, like the story for at least the first half was is really good for that show, but it needs better at better better animation. I think a lot of people who like that series yeah. can vouch for that. So um Yeah, this is like I guess what they're adapting is one of the better arcs in the show. I think it's the just best like, arc, actually. I, I really I think I, I also kind of agree. It's yeah. it's it's either top it's either two or one for me. Yeah. This, so I that, mean, it's like every time they animate it, it's just like still images on like what yeah. it's supposed to be. You know? Yeah, and I watched the first episode of it, and it basically, you know, it obviously picked up right from where it left left off on in season one. But mm. in terms of production value, it basically felt the same. So I was like, okay, oh. well, yeah, unless they somehow mm. pop off. And maybe the episodes were outsourced or something in the later episodes. Uh, I'm not expecting much, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, I mean, other than that, I mean, there's just so many shows. Like, you really, yeah. if you just yeah. go on either my anime list, Mal, or any list, and just mm -hmm. like look shit up, you could easily just check whatever you want to watch next like it there's just there's literally a show for everyone there's yeah. a show yep. for everybody I, I i'm not even joking yep. like that that's true like when I, so i'm a, so i'm more recent right but mm. and i'm watching like 10 to 15 shows each season just because i could and why not but there mm -hmm. are shows for literally everybody oh yeah it's just it, it's just ridiculous almost but i mean i'm not really complaining that much so. oh yeah absolutely uh, that's true so. it's like especially like if you like some mid guarantee you like you, like they got fairy tale right there just just there come on son <laughs> come on son <laughs> your boy in there don't do him like that uh no nah, fucking i'm here it's time <laughs> fairy fairy tale. Tale. <laughs> no i'm tired of living in shadows it show sucks. He go to summon Arion in a second. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like that uh, shit with Black Clover. I don't know what the fuck goes on in Black Clover, but a lot of people like Black Clover not like also that. some super mid. Man. Okay, Black oh, Clover some super mid. Black, Black Clover some peak mid, but it, it's some, <laughs> that some is crazy peak mid. <laughs> you, you, know what's, you, know what's I, I, you know what's funny with Black Clover? It probably has one of the best female... <laughs> Female supporting yeah. cast and all of oh, Shonen. Man. That's the that's the funniest part. That's hilarious, actually. Their Black Sakura is, uh, damn near is leaps and bounds. Has Black just Black as much. No! 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 <laughs> I feel like we can't just uh, can't just go past that out for it's like uh, you're dumb. What's uh, up? How you feeling, buddy? We we already yeah, went we through already you. Did. <laughs> you as, as you died. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he said Sakura cut her hair. She's still useless. Oh God, it's like that. Sar that? It's like that Sarita shit in Pokemon. Yeah, but she cut her hair. Fuck her. Fuck her and her hair. Yeah, sorry, yeah, like, she won a. She won a, <laughs> won a contest. And... Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn. Um. Well, thought of realistically, a lot, a lot of shonen are mid. Like a yeah. lot of people don't want to admit it. A lot of shows. Oh yeah, a lot of shows are oh, yeah. absolutely mid, absolutely fucking to... terrible. Fucking, okay, I'm going down the show. I'm on an annual list right now. I was like, you know what, Vlad? Like, you might as well Shonen. go next. Okay, I'm gonna go down the Shonen catalog. Hold on, somebody else offers in. I'm gonna look at the Shonen catalog and I'm gonna go down the list and I'm gonna talk about what some mid is. Oh, Aside from okay, Fairy Tale, same, same. We're not gonna talk about Fairy Tale. You know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> That is insane. You bad about that was so angry, but that nigga was stuff. always in my chat when I was playing that damn game. <laughs> For some mid, he was invested. <laughs> nigga, that was some, it was some mid, but it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. That's that the really, craziest fight. Some... <laughs> that really be the worst. Nigga, this mid producing some good stuff. All right, let's let's just start Holy with some more. Shonen, man. My Hero Academy. It's My Hero Academy. Let's go. Start off. Start off strong. My Hero. 
My health's on fucking mid. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Sorry about it. If you uh, if you like my heroes, you're delusional. They have dropped the ball so far. <laughs> they are supposed to animate some peak. You spend on that they, one. I can't play devil's they, advocate for this one. So. <laughs> Really? I'm sorry. It's a like, I watched piece, my hero from the beginning, and I'm just like, yep. I don't get uh, why people are so crazy about this one. This, uh, this... My Hero Season 1, some, uh, as My Hero Season 2, pretty good. Season 3, pretty good. Season 4, fucked up the good arc. Next one, Season 5 is boring. Fuck that. Said, season 6, right? War arc, cool. Everybody dope. Clean. They even like, it, it's not even good anime. You know what I'm saying? It is okay. Everything's so mid, though. You know Dobby <laughs> saving, Dobby saving the show single handedly. I heard oh, season five was so ass, dude. No, season I, five, I have not that's... watched any of my hero no. at all, but I heard season five Lala, was let so me, bad. Lala, let Lala. me tell you, season five is adapts the worst RX in my hero, the most uh, boring. Shit. Okay, but then they, but then the best arc, one of the best arcs that they have, they fucking rush it. You know, I'm just sitting there like, what's the point? What's the in point? Five. <laughs> yeah, they. were one of the best arcs, but they just focus on the villains. They just rush it. They just like skip all the good parts, skip all the tension, just say, fuck it. Just the villains are the best thing about my hero, too. Don't don't talk about that, though. I've been telling you, take out the <laughs> fuck nigga society that is class 1A and the show becomes good. I'm telling you. Okay, you can just okay, you can just cut class 1A in half and you'll get better. You keep you keep eating it, you keep fucking fuck what's her name? Gravity bitch. Keep her. Ochaka. You keep icy nigga. And you keep uh gay explosion nigga. Him. There you go. You keep all <laughs> come those. On, come. It's a fine show. That's right. Shut up. Put it in the dead. Keep the dead. What are they? No. Oh, we leave him in the trash. Not. But yeah, no, my hero some some mid. It got some moments. I ain't gonna hold you. It do got some moments. Deku does become raw in this next arc. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, always, that's the thing with Shonen. Shonen is complete mid, but it will have some moments that will break the internet, that will make people believe that yeah. it's good. And let me talk about some actual good. Hunter Hunter. It's a good show. Solid show. Great okay, show. hold on. Before you continue that, because this, this is always a thing that I always hear. Is it Hunter Hunter or is it Hunter X Hunter? It's I Hunter actually Hunter. No, it's it Hunter Hunter. Hunter. It's, it's Hunter yeah. Hunter. I was about to say, because I say Hunter Hunter mid <laughs> mid mid. <laughs> <laughs> you just saying mid mid until that until that thing goes off hiatus. Yeah, it's gonna be some okay. <laughs> Hunt hunters, it's say the X to this just for five mid X mid. It's a it's a it's a good show. I say recommend. Not not it's terrible. You're not gonna be a. It's, it's yeah. a good show with some crazy ass characters. Yeah, you're not gonna be a man. Actually, at pulled all. up to a fight with a shovel. At what? what? He pulled up into a fight with a shovel to bury his opponent after he beats his ass. That's actually yeah, the next point. scene is him. The next scene is him taking the grave with him in it. Yup. <laughs> That's funny. Moment. Now we're going to talk about the most tragic show to ever be produced. Promise Neverland. Let's get it. Oh, no. Don't talk Moving about it. Moving on. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. If y'all got, no, no, no. Yep. Yep. Uh, got, got Lolo involved, there's some shit going yep. on. Yep. I knew it. See it? I was, I was, I was tickling it. I was tickling it. I knew it was going to happen. No. Well, like, let's talk about season two real quick. No, you could have just not. Nope. We don't have to talk about season two. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna press the Sakura button. Don't do it. Not, yes, not. You didn't have to do that one. <laughs> when they, when they, da, Lala, 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 let me ask you: How did you feel when they opened the cellar and he wasn't there? I was like, <laughs> "Where did he go?" All right, all right, okay. So, is there anyone who does not know what happened? Okay, so basically, right, season oh, one right, of the I Promised guess. Neverland. Man, that was so good, man. That was so good. Season one of Promise Neverland was so good. Amazing arc. Season two. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck or who the fuck decided, hey, yo, just going to go ahead and just cut like a hundred chapters from the month. Yeah, we're just going to speed run through this shit. Yeah, see you later. And then end this (laughs) and then right like like that. Mm -hmm. So basically what they did. I think it was like episode three where they where they didn't introduce a certain character, which is where everyone was like, or at least every manga reader was like, hey, yo, where, 
Where is he at? Hello? <laughs> what, what happened here? So then eyebrows started being raised, and then it wasn't until like episode five or six where everyone realized, holy shit, they just sped run through 50 plus chapters, and it just continued doing so. Not added some that. original content in there. <sighs> and then they ended episode 11 with a slideshow. Doug. I can't believe that's been two years. Doug, I can't believe... talk, uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> come in. I gotta come in. Years. Oh, tap God. me in, tap me in, tap me in, tap me in. Go ahead. Talk about, they skipped the best fucking arc in the entire series. Exactly. Goldie yep. Pond. Yep. These niggas were scrapping. These niggas were playing and these niggas were shooting. It was cold. 13 chapters of just rawness. Gone. 50 chapters was, of nice and setup all... and characters. Gone. And it all started because they didn't they didn't introduce this one character in this yep. one scene that he was supposed to be in. Yep. And yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All so, that's gone. So can, honestly uh... so, so honestly at this point, right? It, let's say, for example, you're listening to this and you wanted to watch The Promised Neverland. Honestly, bro, just watch season one. That's it. That's watch, it. Yep, that's it. Watch, watch season, season one or read. read. Watch just season, watch one, season one, or one or read it. Honestly. <laughs> because watch. Yeah. yeah. Watch season one. Immediately put down your laptop, open up the book, and keep going. Because <laughs> it don't <laughs> matter. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Unless you're a Dragon Ball fan, y'all can't read, but you know what I'm saying? Season like, one was so good, yeah. man. Like, I will vouch for oh, yeah, season one. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 it was wrong, guys. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you're not touching you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who on that production committee did all this, but whoever did, they should be banned for life. They look at that shit's like, damn, this shit performing well. Let's fuck it up. I don't know why they did. I just don't know why they did them. Oh my god. Well, yeah, you yeah, and you're, and you're, yep. you're right. No, no, because I'm just responding to a comment I see. Like literally, when you think about it, production committees literally have it right in front of them, especially if they're trying to like adapt a manga. It was finished too. And it was finished. Yes, correct. Yep. Well, anyways, moving on. Go. Moving on. <laughs> hey, Next on the list. I'm, I'm done with that uh, one. Nope. So, uh, I, I, after talking about that, man, time to talk about some. Let's just uh, let's refresh our taste by Seven Deadly Sins, baby. You said oh, refresh. Man, I'm not wise, so I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you said uh, refresh. Oh, refresh, my nigga. <laughs> we're, going, we're going deeper. Yep. I'm not watched at all. Sorry. So. Oh my Listen, god. Listen, let me That's... tell you. Let me tell you. Season one of that show had probably the most tame, tame thing. It was nice, nice animated, nice thing. Everything past that just becomes, brother. We should check this man's computer because Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just so bad. And the worst part of Seven Deadly Sins is like it has some good ass characters. It does with some dumb ass powers. Then they make them twelve for some reason. <laughs> that make them twelve. What makes them a pedophile? What them fucking... zero. <laughs> Yeah. What makes <laughs> makes some fucking arrogant as the fucking sun? That... What? Escanor be so raw. Escanor is a raw ass character trapping a mid ass series. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Free. Shout the Nazi. Still free him. Bro, it's not every day you literally meet a character that can literally talk his shit and back it up 100% in every single fight he's in. That man has never once not talked shit and backed it up. This man has a perfect record of shit talking I've never seen before. That nigga walks up to a nigga whose commandment is if you're prideful, you lose. And niggas said, what? <laughs> I win. <laughs> this man got hit with his own attacks. Like, got you. I understand what I hurt. It's because of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm him. Give me turning. Then proceeded to throw a son at this man. And shit on his corpse. Basically. That man made an, an actual son. An actual son. What? Just for him. Yep. And he wrote on it. Yep. And then you have Bond with a fucking broken as ability. Which is He's immortal on a pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm here listening to right now. But... <laughs> like that's his biggest yeah, drawback. Is that he's a fucking yeah. pedophile. <laughs> this man's in love with an eternal 12 year old. I'll tell you. Oh, brother. 
<laughs> do I even attempt to watch this show at some point in the future? Do I? Ah, do I you do good, Doug. If it's a drunk night, maybe. No, you, you can watch season one. That's be fine, terrible. Nothing bad really happened in season one. And season one's fine. Right, oh, we're not going to talk about how groom, uh, how King be grooming his wife. <laughs> Next one, next one, next one, next yeah, one. Next one. one. <laughs> next, yeah, next one. Uh, what's next? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about some actually good, some good shows. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about some high cube. Yeah. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, I heard high cube. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this out there. If you want a perfect mesh of shonen and shojo, watch you a sports anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We they will, they take like, both the stuff. good quantities of shonen and shojo and put it together so well. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think I've ever been disappointed watching a sports anime. Speak the gospel. All. Speak the gospel. Haiku is so fucking good. Slam dunk. Oh Golden. Uh, uh, Twenty one. Golden. Diamond no ace. Golden. Haiku. Golden. Like they just don't miss. My nigga, I've never even, been even so excited. Blue lock. Blue lock. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Blue Let's Lock is airing right now, everybody, and you guys should watch that one. Y'all need to watch. Go ahead, Blue go ahead, go, go ahead, get on Blue Lock. Right, not even that. After you start watching it, go ahead and read that shit, Doug. The art in the manga of Blue Lock is ridiculous. It is so good. Honestly, I'll I'll wait until I finish the show, and then I'll uh, get wait, into it. Doug, oh, yeah. Lala, I'm telling you, once you finish the show, go back from chapter one and just read it. I'm telling you, the okay, art is insane. Fair. The art is very insane. Very also, also, speaking of sports, Hajime no Ippo. I was about to clear the board any single, any single, every single time. Hajime no Ippo will clear the board every single time. A thousand episodes. I've seen, season, uh, I'll tell you. I've seen clips of that shit, and I was like, golly. <laughs> this shit, all you really idea. need to know from Hajime no Ippo, them zero. That's all you need to know. Yep. That's, that scene sent chills down my spine every single time I it's watch it. Bad. And it brings a tear to my eye when I see that shit on TikTok. I'm just like, yes. Yeah, finally, some fucking peak on this damn TikTok app. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna like, have to come back around. Hi, Q. I gotta, I gotta speak the gospel on Hi, Q. You in, don't man. know sports, no, uh, if you if you have me. not been introduced to sports anime, Hi, Q is the perfect one. I'm Absolutely. telling you this right now. This shit is peak. I don't know what else to tell you. I've never been so excited to see some fucking volleyball in my life, my nigga. It Absolutely, is so fucking good. <laughs> Duh. It is the one. It is one of the few. And Haiku is on your list. You better fucking get off of this stream and go watch it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it should not be on your list. It should be completed on your list, nigga. Go ahead, man, watch IQ Haiku slam dunk. It's just you just can't get it's any so more good. than that, man. Some, some real niggas in high dog. Season three is just one match, and it's so fucking nah. good. No, I don't. Th- I will say this right now. I don't think I've ever seen such a perfect season other than that season three right there. I'm gonna keep oh it stack. Dog, no. Aside from AOT season three part two, uh, oh, those oh, God, ten AOT episodes, yeah, th- those God. ten episodes of Haiku season three were absolutely incredible. Dude. Even, even like started, even when those sports yeah. shows happened on the superpowers like Ice Shield and Chronicle and no Basket, they uh-huh. they do so well making like simple ass moves look so damn good. It, like, you don't mean that. Like I used to 21 made a stiff arm look so fucking amazing. <laughs> and it was just uh, one stiff arm on one nigga. By the way, that nigga Argos, oh my god. They added a nigga um, with dreads and put him on a football team. Yep. Over and that there. nigga could play every single position. I get they no, let him play every single position and he was just good at it. Mm-hmm. The power of dreads. That That's nigga the had the dread amount of powers. Is that, that why Dug- is that why Douglas can go ahead? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, no, that's the exact like, reason why Douglas can go because of his dread. Yeah, the sports anime will have the, get them hype moments like Shonen, mm-hmm. and then they get you in the feels like Sojo. Like when they lose the championship, oh my yeah. god, your heart, you feel that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. You no. feel that shit. Bro, it's a high school. They are high schoolies, and they acting like it's the end of the fucking world, and, I, and it gets me done. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they be animated if Joy's so fucking Chris too, bro. Bro, they be acting like they're fucking senpai bro, fucking dying, dog. Ace, not- Ace, of, <laughs> Ace of Diamonds in that championship match, I thought they were going to win, and then the dude on the enemy team is just like, "All right, now you guys are happy. Let me crush right. your dreams with this one pitch." 
I never mm. cried so much <laughs> in my life. I never hated a nigga so much in my life. Dog, like that telling, shit hurt me. I wasn't even dog, on the field. I'm not even part of the team. Bro, I'm telling you, it makes you feel some shit. Like we thought they're not dying. They're just gonna go to college or some shit. They can't, like they're not dying. But then when they lose, it's over. They're pretty much dead. <laughs> Even then, it was forced. I would say Kurokono Basket probably like the weakest one, but it's still <laughs> kind of good. Well, Kurokono Basket probably is the weakest one only because of the power things, honestly, in my opinion. Like the whole zone shit, I was just like, bro, yeah. what you mean? I mean, it was hype when it was when I mean it was doing it too, and they were just going head to head. I'm just like, okay, I like this. I like yeah. this. I want but, more of this. Then these niggas started having powers, like, in the this is like, why? <laughs> Nah, funny one. Inazuma Eleven. That is a funny yeah. anime. Yeah. It is fucking good, but that shit is fucking funny. I never seen a whole middle schooler summon the Great Wall of China to block a soccer ball. What the fuck <laughs> did you just say to me? A kid yeah. literally summoned the Great Wall of China to block a soccer ball. Yep, I see. A kid summons a whole dragon to kick a ball through a net. I see. A kid summoned God to block a to block a goal. Oh shit, bro, Prince of Tennis. <laughs> oh, I heard of that one. Ooh, Prince of <laughs> Yeah, dog. What are we talking about zone Tesco's up? <laughs> bro, I'm talking. They get hit a ball and like what? The world split in half or some shit. Like what? Bro, are you bro, about? snake shot, snake shot, <laughs> beat him. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to play tennis as a prince of tennis. I will, even I'm going to play tennis. I couldn't even fucking run for, with the shit, but I'm still going to play tennis. No, I'm telling you, that's the power of these Japanese cartoons. I'm telling you, though. They make you want to like, be active and shit. Shit, they did better than Nickelodeon. They did. Uh, hey, they say, alright, <laughs> stop watching the TV for like a day. Go outside. Damn, that's crazy, Cartoon Network. I'm saying, that's exactly <laughs> what I did. I said, oh, that's insane, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel. <laughs> Disney XD. Disney XD. Oh shit, Flapjack? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Not Flapjack. Oh, brother. We'll get, oh, the, we'll get the actual be... cartoons for another podcast. <laughs> oh, Actually, yeah, funny, speaking of Inazuma 11, I just remember the nigga summoned three penguins. Actually, no, five penguins onto a field. Just a peck of goalie. What the fuck? I love that show, Tuck. <laughs> that show's so fucking gas, man. I miss him. Um, and then they fucking kept going and started adding some space alien shit. And I'm just like, y'all had a good thing going. Why ruin uh, it? Nah, space aliens. <laughs> so even oh even God. the game, even the games, Captain Tsubasa, better than any FIFA game. Better than yeah. any FIFA game. That's I still need to get that game at some point. That game is fucking crazy, dog. That shit like really good. Like I thought it was, uh, I thought it was just gonna be some fucking hot mid. I'm just like, you know what? It's not even mid. I can't even talk, call it mid. You talking about some pop mid? You talking about some sort out online, baby? Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Someone got offended. <laughs> now I've not watched it. I've not watched it. Sorry. I'm telling you, I have a you backlog. Place- I should probably say this to everybody. I have a backlog. I'm go- I'm in the middle of Doctor Stone right now. I have a backlog. So I know that's fair. Everybody got a deep. I don't even want to look to my backlog, <laughs> but you know. We gotta talk about sold out online because that joint. Do we have to? Whether you like it or not, started a generation of mid sex offenders online. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, no, season two. One. Season two. Yeah, <laughs> we season don't talk two, about season, season two. two. What do you mean <laughs> season two? Season two, the first half of season one. Oh, the last half of season one. I mean. Oh, brother. Season two got a sixty-five percent on it. That's higher than it's I thought. So, it's so bad. Christ. Uh, but thanks to Sword Art Online, it fucking popularized the isekai genre in which black haired anime king goes into another world slash video game. It's and it's worse. overpowered and broken and shit. It's worse because like isekai has been around for like a good while. It's and been a while, but not yeah, for the majority it was it was mainly like a girl gets transported to a fantasy yeah, land. It has like, like a reverse harem. Yeah, is this like fucking Inuyasha is a fucking isekai show? Yeah. Think about it. Like fucking uh, what should we call it? 
Not Veroni Kenshin. It was, uh, what's it called? Tenshi Muyo. There you go. He's but then, then, but Tenshi Muyo, that good shit, though. <laughs> Tenshi Muyo, that good shit, though. It is. Yeah. Like, still, shit like that. It can't. It can I still be. Need a, I still need a fine haul uh, all of Tenshi Muyo. That's just, that's just actually hard shit. to find. You got to go on, like, Old illegal websites, though. I mean, they don't have yeah, them anywhere. Like, I still have them in the back, but I'm just like, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a whole bunch of shows are just like things getting transported to another world and shit like that has been so popular recently. I've noticed this season, really... especially. Oh my god, they've been doing season... they've been doing like a yeah. whole bunch of random stuff. So like Black Exorcist, um, time I got reincarnated into a sword, reincarnated to a slime spider. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, hold on. No, I will give Despite some props one I do like slime. that. I will give some props to the slime one because the slime one at least knows what it is. And that like is doesn't take itself that seriously. I will get I will give the slime something like some good ones exist that came out recently. Like Overlord's really good. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. ReZero was also pretty good. You know? Like like those like those are really good, right? But then we have I'm in another world with my smartphone. Yup. <laughs> yup. Man. I'm, I'm in another world and then my mom was also transported with me. Don't. Don't bring that up. <laughs> so, so, so I'm bringing up Mom's guy. Yep. Yep. I have, a, I, have, I have a title airing in uh, in the spring. You guys want to hear it? I, I think know. I know which one you're talking about. Go ahead. Oh, well, there's just a bunch, but it's like, man. Uh, th- this is the longest title I see here. It's uh, The title is this. I got a cheat ability in a different world and became extraordinary even in the real world. What? Yeah. Yep. That's the title of uh, the yep. show? Yeah. That's the title actually. Did that boy reverse mm-hmm. Isekai or something? I have no idea. I'm not going to watch it. So oh, I don't know. Brother. Nope. But like, there's also some great though. Like, uh, Mushoku Tensei was also a pretty good one that came out recently. Yes, sir. And that's an Isekai show, right? But then we also, it's just. It is the most hit or miss with 87 bajillion percent of it being misses. Yeah. No, he's he, he's right. He's right. I see. Yep. Man. But Random. as a person who'll be watching <laughs> but as I watch trash for a reason, I'll be watching all the joints. I'll be yes. disappointed every time, but I'll be watching. <laughs> I need something to pass the time. Oh god. The perfect background noise. I need <laughs> Un- unrelated. I miss Busho Rankin. I think I've actually heard of that show. Oh, you have not. I've not heard. I don't of think it. I have. No. Oh wow! I, I can't believe I'm alone on this one. That's crazy. Yeah. I, used, I used to hear about that show a lot. Like I watched it on Funimation for like a little bit, and I watched it on on my own. And I'm just like, it's kind of like Bleach, where it's just like you know, girl gets dude involved in some shit that he shouldn't be involved in. Oh, this but, shit! I've not, yeah. I've not heard about it, so I don't. Know. I see one episode and immediately stopped watching it. Oh, oh man. man! I said this is not the time for me to watch this shit. <laughs> yeah, I miss shows like that. I miss Black Cat. Actually, right, I mean, Black Cat. When you, I need to use. I'm a 14 year old band geek who got reincarnated into another world as a. Tactician clan that player who's also bisexual. Yep, that's pretty much. Uh, yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty much that's recent pretty much yeah. Yeah, Some pretty much one. Season. Yeah, yeah. That's it from Atlanta. Yep. Also that one. That's uh, that's no, one. no joke. That is actually how it is nowadays. What the yep. fuck? No, yeah. Like yeah. actually, like all the all the titles have to have another world in it, and then like a like seven to ten other words, and it just. <laughs> just Basically, so you know, putting, this is another the, world. They're putting yep. the summary in the title for the isekais. So it's like, you know, yeah. I see. It's So you know exactly what you're getting bad. yourself into when you watch the show. Oh, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a bad trip. It's a bad school field trip. But you know what? You get a day off from school, so you can't be all bad, right? On a bad isekai? And, uh, Rising the Shield Hero. Don't watch that shit. Sorry. Season one's <laughs> fine. Season two and three are terrible. There was a season three. Yeah, there's oh, a season man. three. Oh man! 
<laughs> season three is coming out. Season two is terrible. Oh, it's so weird because out. that series in day. particular is actually popular as shit. I don't understand why. I don't know. Yep. That's true, Digimon. I almost forgot Digimon. Digimon. Season I watched out. season one. And I thought that was okay at best, and then season two I watched, and it was just so bad. I was like, yeah, because season two became a regular user guy. They. Yeah, I was they like, like, what are we doing? Settle here? in there. <laughs> they settled <laughs> in, and they realized, yeah, it's time to throw some Isekai bullshit in here, and what that's exactly we? what they did. Listen, Digimon is old. Is one of the good Isekai. I will fight anyone on that. Yep, well, that's Digimon. I'm trying to find the most ridiculous isekai title right now. Why are you doing that? I like to see the world burn. We can talk about other shows like, you know, Revolutionary Girl Utena. We don't even talk about that. Yes, we do. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good ass show. <laughs> Revolutionary Girl is a good ass show. It's a good ass show. Good ass show. An awakening for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like if you want an LGBT, mean? if you want an LGBT show, Revolutionary Girl Utena is your one. Yep, you get that and classic Oran High School. Oran High School had niggas confused. <laughs> <laughs> Oran, Oran High School is what taught guys to actually look, actually have feelings for Tom Boys. Yep, and actually see Tom Boys as girls and not as you know one of the guys. He said she ain't got a dick bonus. <laughs> Come on. Christ. <laughs> You're goddamn proper. <laughs> the worst part is he's not wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately. Why did they shoot? Oh my god. Well, or or is definitely a good show. It's, it's definitely a good show to get into. If you're with just first start watching anime, it's definitely a good show to get into. Very oh, relatable. Right. Now, Carlos, I know you've seen at least as many romances as I have. Give me, uh, give me three off the top of your head. Three off the top of my head. Peach Girl. Yeah. So the 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 marriage one that we talked about, the one when uh, they first oh. meet and they all married, get married. Yep, that's definitely in my top two. And that Kaguya. With the mo- yeah, oh, yeah, Kaguya. Yeah. I right, talking the Kaguya portion of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, I like- Sorry, I just hold on. Wait, say that again. Kaguya. Kaguya. Oh my goodness. Go yeah. ahead. You have the floor, brother. One of the best romance series I've ever seen in my life. Speak. Swear to God. Swear to God, man. Go watch that show. If you haven't already, just go watch it. You don't even yep. have to like the genre. Just go watch it. Just go watch it. Go watch. I mean, I don't really have anything else to say, really, other than just to go watch it, and you'll understand. It's, it's um, literally one of the best relatable shows, especially for high schoolers. Yep. You know, it has three seasons out <laughs> with a movie coming in February uh, next month, and then there's most likely a fourth season coming out. It's probably going to get the full adaptation at this point anyway, so it's like... Yeah. Yeah, Kaguya-sama love his words. Go watch it. Um, very funny. Uh, one of the best rom-coms out there. I mean, it's really just like... You just gotta watch to understand, honestly. If you don't get it, you don't get it. You okay. gotta watch it. Yeah, and you, you just watch have it, to watch it. You just have to watch it. And if you watch it and you didn't get it, watch it again. Absolutely. Rewind. <laughs> man, season three was so good, man. Jesus Christ. So and the manga's finished too. I should probably have that. Uh, yep. If you if you want to watch a romance with some drama, Peach Girl. Mm. Peace, Peace Girl got drama left and right. You got your yeah. love triangles. You got your pregnancy scares. You got your. I mean, like, if we're really talking about it, domestic girls for that. No. I'm surprised somebody didn't bring it up until now. No, nah, no, no. Nah, no, no. That's, let's that's continue. Nah, nah. Okay, nope. let's take. Okay, we're going to go that round. That's, that's you know, that's a little bit line of in- incest. If you want to go that round, we can go to you know what. <laughs> We no, don't want to talk about, about you know. We're not, talk, oh, we're not no. talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're not, not talking about that. 
Nope, I'm not Kossi, even I know exactly what you're talking about. We're not talking about it. Man, I was, it, I was just like, nope. there's no way. There's nope. no way. Nope. The, nope. the show, nope. the, the title had to be had nope. to be baited. Nope. It had to be baited. Nope. It had nope. to be shut baited. Up. Shut, shut up. Baited. Shut up. Don't talk about it. We're moving on. I don't care. We're not talking about that damn show. Oh, what's that one? Sh- uh, Anyways, Domestic Girl. It was, uh, I know it has pet in the title. I can't remember the full name. Oh, fucking soccer stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the girl, girl soccer, so. Yeah. yeah girl, soccer, so. That show's so that, good. That show, has, that show has some that's some good ass drama moments. They threw hands in that damn show. They did. <laughs> oh, yeah. They threw some hands in that show. I wasn't expecting that. It's, it's so, it's such a good fucking show. It's just, it's such a good feel show. Especially for, like, people, like, graduating, like, high school, college, starting careers yeah. and all that. Yeah. Like that's also a show that you can watch to just feel like yeah. you can relate to that heavy when you, you don't know to... where you want to where you're going in life, mm-hmm. what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. Mm. you need some young adult shit. Go, go, go! Hit that one up. That one's pretty good. Uh, you want some absolutely visually stunning, beautiful, great storytelling? Go watch Violet Evergarden, dog. Just, just go. Ahead. Oh, oh my cry. goodness! Go ahead, oh. go ahead and tap into act. Let's talk about some actual peak. The the worst thing was, I, which told me about the show, which told mm-hmm. me about episode eight. Oh, I still oh, cry right? knowing about oh, it. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Bro, that'd be the worst shit too. Like you know about it, you mm-hmm. still about to fucking start bawling. Oh my yep. god. <laughs> Violet Evergarden is the only show that has almost made me cry. I've never cried at no anime, but Violet Evergarden got me the closest to being like, damn it. Oh, that. I got to plug it. I have not watched the the movie yet. Like, I know there's a movie out there. The movie's so good. The movie's actually. I have not watched it. I've only watched the TV. I've only watched the the show, TV show, Mm -hmm. but it's like, no, like, that was amazing. That was. No, it's. The movie is like, it ends it, and it's so. It's such. It's such. I love a movie when when it ends. It I hate when anime ends on cliffhangers and just complete and other nonsense. Yeah, right, right, Egg Prodigy. No, Lala knows me and Lala. Oh my Wait, god! Say, say the title again. What did you say? Egg Prodigy. Wonder. Oh, Wonder Egg. Wonder oh. Egg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just call it Egg Prodigy because I'm just like you had you had the. You had everything there to be great. Why did you? Twenty twenty one was not good for that studio, Cloverworks man. Jesus yep. Christ, what do they do? Th- do no, they thank do you, Ape. It, please preach it. Dress up, darling, is a good show. <laughs> it's a amazing. People show. said dress up, darling, was a bad show. I don't know. Some people, I, I have seen some people calling that show some mid. Dress up, darling, is fucking what? really good. I feel what like was... they compared it to that fucking one gal show. Oh, that, yeah. Gal yeah, Power. I feel like people compared it to that. No, Jessica Darling is really good. The characters are really good. Everybody is, like, fucking funny. It's great. I didn't actually the best girl of 2022. No cap. Oh, God! I think, I think yeah. What was 2022? Huh? Was it? I don't know. Yoy was there. Yeah, but Martin's right there, so it's like... <laughs> 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 yeah, but like she got knives. Oh, speaking of other anime, yeah, I'm not gonna just... say what I was about to say. I'm good. Other <laughs> other anime, other anime that are st- stupid fun to have in the background. Baka to test. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh my oh god! My I knew it. Yes. <laughs> god, Baka to test. Whoever was Baka to test goes no, absolutely no. stupid. Yeah. I, I had no idea anybody else knew about this show. I fucking love. <laughs> No, I fire there. Like, and you guys know some of them. We, we watched it last year. No, two years ago, I think it was. Yeah, that's a great show right there. I can test is such. It's it should not be as funny as it is. Yep. It, it really shouldn't, is. but it just it just keeps getting funnier. It just keeps getting funnier, and it's just like I've seen this. This is a trope. I've seen this in yep. other things, but why am I still laughing? Like it's <laughs> right. no, the, no, the fucking running joke of Hideyoshi kills me every time. Oh, oh my god, yeah, Poor Hideyoshi. <laughs> the guy had his own belt. 
I think what's worse is that no one ever referred to Hideyoshi as the sister when talking to the other sibling. <laughs> nope. Nope. No, I don't think so. At least just, what I remember. No. They just called them Hideyoshi. Yoshi. They said, what are you? I said, that's a Hideyoshi. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Not using them as a verb. <laughs> that's what they called me. It was a verb, an adjective, a noun. Listen. Listen, Hideyoshi is just, pro- just a product of Ron Mom one half. That's a, uh, oh god, yeah. <laughs> Still love Ron Mom. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> I love that show. I didn't damn that show. Damn that show. <laughs> All right. We'll talk about Ron Mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go through my hard drive right now because I know I have some. I have a lot of stuff saved up just for, you know, preservation. Just in case. Have, you, yeah. have you seen Bleach, Lola? No, I have not. Wait, so you haven't seen any of the actual, like, big three? Okay, yeah, I should probably, yeah, again, I should, I should, I should probably just say it again. I, I've, like, some of the older shows that you guys have mentioned, I have not watched at all. Like, I have not. You know, I'm surprised it's it not took because... us this long to mention Bleach. <laughs> it's not because it's not because I don't want to. It's just mm-hmm. like I know it's pretty long, so I know mm-hmm. I'm I know I have to like focus in on that show specifically if I really wanted to. Yeah. That is true. But, I, didn't yeah. you like finish Gintama recently? Not recently. No, but... I only well, that was over the course of like a year and a half though. Yeah. And and I'm gonna say like that that's like like those shows like require you know more commitment than like that, you know. Yeah. But, but actually, no. I only watched, or I know I completed a portion of Gintama. Not, not, not every episode. Like I'm pretty uh, sure there's like, there's, I'm pretty sure there's like 300 plus mm-hmm. episodes of Gintama, but I only watched like the 200 or something. Ah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I'll get um, to it eventually at some. I don't know when, but I I will eventually get to it. Like I know damn well I will. So yeah, you you got time. Right now. Yeah, you just got time. Right now. <laughs> looking at my entire backlog, knowing I'm never going to touch these shows. <laughs> That's why I don't keep a backlog. That way I don't have to look at it. <laughs> I've been looking at these seasons like damn. I'm gonna watch this never. God damn. Oh yeah, that shit to the list. Yeah. I still think Bleach is probably like the worst of the big three, though. In my opinion, yeah, not by much. No. Did you watch? Uh, I, I'm put, you watch... I put now as, as the worst. Did you got? Did yeah. you watch of the the whatever was airing recently? Oh yeah, the new Bleach one. Yes, thousand, that one. Thousand Year Blood War. Yeah, like the first part of Thousand Year Blood War. So they animated all that stuff really well, right? Okay, that's like, good. All, like, all that shit was good. It was adapted well. On the low key kick final pass, but actually like added some scenes. Like the fight between Kenpachi and Unohana was they added some extra scenes, but they actually showed her bonsai for once, which was good. Oh, God, that shit was so good. That <laughs> shit was good. <laughs> I think <sighs> like I think the thirteen episodes that they made for that Bleach was entirely better than most of the actual Bleach anime. So like the problem that. I guess the enemies had for the big three, especially Naruto, were the goddamn killer arcs. They weren't killer episodes, they were arcs. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the reason why I say I put Naruto down there is only because, like, in terms of ending between yeah. Bleach and Naruto, I would definitely put Bleach above Naruto because, you know, yeah, random Kaguya and then, all right. So I say I'm gonna fight you one more time because bullshit. And we had to. Uh, just like this, this didn't need to happen. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things that happened in the, the Naruto War didn't need to happen. Listen, they had to end the bromance. I knew that was gonna happen. They always had to have one last bromance fucking fight in the show. I was not expecting that Kaguya nonsense at the end of it. Yeah, the whole Kaguya thing was just like, oh no, it was. It was hinted at, uh, yeah, I know it was hinted at, no. but, like, now? Because legitimately, none of them beat Madara. Nope. None of them beat, essentially, the big bad. Nope, they were getting dog walked that entire time. Bleach has more sauce, 100%. Oh. Bleach has more sauce, but I think it has a... 
I can't even say it has the worst. I think it has worse filler arcs than Naruto. I, I can agree all, with that. I, 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 I can definitely agree not, with that. Not one shit, like, watching Bleach and you get done with the first, like, good arc, which was, like, Soul Society. Then you get to this arc where they're fighting, like, weird fucking Soul Eater vampire things. I think that's the worst arc I've ever seen of any show ever. Shit was ass. And then, like, it just kept on going. Where yeah. they had, they would have, like, peak moments. And then just cut it off like halfway through to show you like them fucking around with daisies or whatever. Yeah. It's like, no, you're just about to kill him last episode. Get Bleach back to that. <laughs> Bleach also, also has like good villain groups. Yeah. Like the Akatsuki is good, but like. The Akatsuki are just some random niggas. Right? Yeah. Akatsuki are random niggas that could have destroyed the village if they really wanted to, but didn't. Yeah. One of them got folded by the pink-haired bitch. I can't respect it. Yeah, that's... I think Sakura's only body, too. Mm. <laughs> Actually... Mm. Well, my cross, let me ask you. Is it really her only body? Think about this. Is it really her body that she took? Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did she land a hit? Did she land it by herself? No! <laughs> No! <laughs> I mean, uh, you have to think about it. Oh my! Because Grandma was controlling her. <laughs> I mean, you gotta admit she she was pulling the pause on him at least. Was she? No! <laughs> okay, for the first part, yes, yes. Oh yeah, and then she got hit with some poison, didn't she? Oh brother, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck, wait, brother. And please, I mean, please I mean, note that that was the, that was a sealed form, right? So was he? Was she really putting the paws on that? Also, oh. it's sealed form. Also, she's also a medical ninja. So poison, you're a medical ninja. How you let that happen, bro? Oh, that's like being vegan and goddamn getting food poisoning. Would you forget to do wash the carrots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sick. But Dom, that's Saku. Oh, brother. What's going on, Dom? That's Tom One. That's Team Seven. I mean, did this goddamn podcast? <laughs> also, also on Bleach, go to soundtrack. Oh, I'm touched. Untouchable well, soundtrack. I don't. I don't know what Japanese nigga decided to put some fucking Spanish guitars on that shit. But thank <laughs> you. They went completely stupid with that shit. Thank you. The fucking Ukiora, amazing theme. Oh my god, Grimjaw, amazing. Oh, Grimjaw is just amazing in general. <laughs> Grimjaw, fucking Josh Groban, Eisen, it's, it's amazing. Eisen is a dumbass fucking villain. He's not a dumbass that nigga knew. Right? <laughs> I mean, dumbass as in just like fucking whoever thought of him is just like, you, you, you just want to make a broken nigga, huh? Yeah. They made that man broken and gave him an awesome theme. This man was in the streets and fucking soft. He's, he's the like, one yeah, nigga on. that actually deserves his theme and I hate it. He does. Watch JoJo. I have. All right. So yeah, let's do the JoJo's. Yeah, the JoJo will be the last topic, by the way. Okay. Wait. Before we do that, she's actually seen JoJo's because I haven't seen JoJo's. I'm sorry. I've seen like I've seen a few episodes of part one. I think I seen I saw part three with some friends, and I was just like, "This show funny, but this show ain't for me." I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I like, like, I, I li- like I literally have nah. nothing against JoJo. <laughs> like, I have not, not watched it either. No, oh, my sister seen all of JoJo's, and she's been trying to get me to watch. You know, it's like my brother saying. in Final Fantasy fourteen. No, Bono, Bono, Bono. JoJo's is a show that I've. Seen all the spoilers for it because it's fucking memed to death. Literally everywhere. But like, I have an appreciation for JoJo's. 
and like everything that it stands for always mean well it's actually good villain and shit mm-hmm. i just don't want to watch it I feel I'd, I'd read it like i'd read it and shit if i ever feel like it but every time i think about it it's like i could just do something else I don't have basically I don't have the urgency to watch JoJo's. Yeah, the video games are fun though. Oh, oh yeah, no, I played the video. I played the uh, the fighting game that they had, not the the newest one that just came out. But well, I played that too. But like the the old one that made, that was made by Capcom. That game hard. Oh, not in there, Gecko. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if you nine times out of ten, you when you meet a JoJo's fan and you tell them you haven't watched JoJo's. Prepare to have your ears bleed. God, that's, will... that's another reason <laughs> that I don't ever want to see. Base? <laughs> no, I say like some niggas who like preach the gods, like who is like ah. know, Christians of just JoJo's, like they're missionaries for just JoJo's. Like ah. I understand JoJo's is a good, great show. Like I heard part five was fucking amazing, right? Like I heard all that. Uh, the recent one from Netflix, I also heard it was good. Plus you got uh, with. Uh, Jolene, I think that was. I think oh, yeah. was. Like, I heard all that stuff is good. It's fun. It's great. It's thing. But if I keep hearing a nigga t- talking to me about the goddamn, like, God, you gotta watch JoJo, bro. JoJo's, 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 JoJo's. Oh, my God, JoJo's. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Sorry about it. I've started to notice the One Piece niggas keep doing it, too. And I'm just saying, oh, yeah, like, no, oh, no, no, that, that, yeah, that's, been, that's been on a I'm, crazy rise. Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah, I've been seeing the One Piece niggas starting to do it too. I'm just like, don't do this. Do not become what the JoJo snakes were. Uh oh. <laughs> Speaking of One Piece, One Piece Odyssey does come out soon. Or right, right, I don't right. know when it's going, I don't know when this video is going up, but it might be out. Game is actually pretty damn decent. I know it's out so, on PC right now. Oh, wow. Co- oh, really? Like, yeah, is that your own game? Right now? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, well, if you, but I will say this if you are a One Piece fan, One Piece Odyssey is definitely for you. If you like RPGs, it's also just for you. It's like, a good Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a fake One Piece fan. That's crazy. <laughs> for a good 60 hours or however long the game is. But with that said, that is, uh, that's going to be the end of the podcast. Uh, once again, thanks everybody for coming out. Uh, this is actually a mad fun podcast. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, thank you, Vlad, Lala, and Cross for coming through. Uh, no definitely gotta get y'all back yeah. probably for a part two one day because there's just so many anime that haven't been explored yet. Yes, oh yeah, there's, oh, a, yeah. there's a lot more slice of life that I have looking through my hard drive. There's a specific oh, yes. genre I didn't want to talk about, but I will talk about. It. Yeah, we gotta talk about the edgy genre, you guys. Come yeah, on. yeah, I didn't want yeah, to yeah. talk about that. We might need oh. Tristan for that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. But yeah, this uh this video should be going out soon ish, uh, probably in the next day or two or so. But uh yep. yeah. That, that was great. Uh the next podcast, if I'm feeling if I'm feeling myself, I'll probably do it next week with Gecko and Frosty, but I gotta see how their schedules look. If not, then it'll Sonic. be in the next two weeks. No, it's a uh, Dragon Ball actually. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's a coin flip. Yeah, because I was like if I talk, if we talk Dragon Ball today, that bitch gonna be well over two hours. <laughs> so I said, Jin- "Fuck it." Because I also got some shit. Jin- to say if about we do a part, Ball. if we do a part two, I have a story about that title. <laughs> and I, I have that. a story about that title. No, uh, understandable, understandable. Yeah, I'll definitely <laughs> get y'all back for the part two. That'd be that'd be crazy. Yeah. Watch I'm Kion. Sure. <laughs> I, you know what? Somebody else spots a Kion. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll part two, part two, bro, part two. Part two, part two, part two. All right. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for coming through. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you guys.